Welcome to ESNCAS tutorials for accessories, introductory, installations, repairs and more. Today I will show you how to make or install your voltage meter for your scooter. This installation is done straight from the battery or batteries wire connection stores the handlebars of your scooter. All those who bought the key from mymaxmodes.com simply follow carefully instructions of how to install material to use to make this kit, meter holder, meter, T-top connectors, heat shrink, tubes, super glue, 6 feet or 72 inches length of 18 uh, gauge uh, electrical wire. Uh, you can use the regular one that is a red and, and black. Tools needed for this installation, heat gun or hair dryer, flat and a small fillet a screwdriver, pliers, torque head screwdriver, T8, T15 and T25, and electrical tape. You can use knife for uh, peel the, the wires the professional um, wire cutter uh, that you will see in the video. Note that battery was removed during this installation just to make clear the view of how to put wires through the stem of the scooter. When you are doing the installation only, it's not necessary to move the battery. Simply plug the T-tabs to the red and black wire on recharger wires of battery, if 48 volt internal. If 12 volt is added to a 36 internal, your connection for the meter will be before the controller. Let's start by removing the battery cover on your scooter using the torque number 15 with a screw gun or a screwdriver. In this part of the video, we are going to learn how to do the terminals connections to the wires that are going to the meter towards the dashboard or the handlers of the scooter. Now using the, the pliers, we are going to connect to the battery. And this step, it doesn't matter what color do you choose to put the T-tabs, simply make sure that they are secure. Once they do the click, this means that they are ready installed. Let's do the second one now. All you need to do is put them in position and then press it with the player. And that's it, that's your connection to the battery. Now we're gonna push the wires through the neck of the scooter. We got to film this, but uh, we need to remove that uh, seal in the neck of the scooter so we can get out the wire right there. Now we're gonna push through the, um, the wires through the next hole. And then so when we need to actually remove the next seal, that's for the stem part that it goes towards the handler bar and leave it right there. Once we know that it's near to the, to the handler, so I'm pointing with my fingers right there, that's it. This test that we are going to do right now, this is just to show you that uh, the connections in the battery are done properly. So for this, I have uh, these extra additional wires that I just made for it. As we can see, to sec for secure purposes, I did one shorter than the other one, so it, in, even if, in case that uh, uh, they get uh, together, they, they don't uh, do any spots. So we want to make sure that we, uh, in this one, I, I want to put the, the red with the red. So it's just it's a matter of pushing it through completely. And then we're going to be able to read the, the voltage of it. Uh, once the T-tabs are connected, yeah, there is power going through. And you shouldn't be worried. Once you make you, you hear that click, it should be fine. So now we're gonna see the the voltage of the scooter. I mean of the new battery. And we have 44.6 volts. Now that we know the wires are all the way to the stand, it just we need to match the colors of the of the connections. It doesn't matter the colors of the T tabs, the connectors. We just need to make sure the red wire from the meter goes to the red wire of the battery. And the black goes to the black. Uh, we're going to secure the, the red connector completely fully by adding some tape, electrical tape around and see how I'm doing it. This is not, um, you just wrap it and that's it. You have to do it in an X, like an X turning. So um, it actually um, catches the, the, the end of the, the terminal with the connector in the, the T connector in the, in the wire. So as we know, this is a lot of vibration in the rear tire and this is going to be near the rear tire. So we want to make sure that this, uh, Connectors never come off. As we can see, that's how it's done. We're gonna just uh, seal the battery at the silicone gasket to the um, to the battery cover, and then uh, put all the screws around. And then we're gonna proceed with the next with the rest of the installation. In this next step, we are going to learn how to install the rest of the wires. We're gonna start with the screwdriver using that Pure Lock. T8. And this is just uh, to remove the screws from the dashboard, the, the first screws. The next one is going to be Philip, a very small screwdriver. 
when we remove touch board. Those screws are very close to all the terminals and all the spins that are open. And remember that scooter is already connected, so the dashboard is already have power. We wanna make sure that then when we put on the screwdriver, we cover with our fingers and make sure that no move your screwdriver. Dark head secure lock number 15. Uh, we are going to remove the top of the, um, the scooter. As you can see, T15. I apologize on this little video in this part. When I was passing by, I moved uh, the camera and, and I didn't notice it until later that um, the camera is moved. But in any case, what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna place the dashboard in a plastic bag or something that it covers it completely so there is no terminals or any wires that are gonna be touching the, any metal or anything like that. Meanwhile, we, we do the, the rest of the installation. So first of all, let's unplug the power. In any case, just make sure there is a cover. So even though if it's unplugged, make sure there is a cover completely. So there is no zero discharge or any static in it. So to make sure that a hundred percent that this uh, dashboard is not gonna get ruined again, the um, the power was connected already, and there is always a little bit of uh, energy staying in some terminals and some circuits. So we want to make sure that it stays that way. Meanwhile, that the, the, this part of the installation of the wires. So now that we have it ready there, uh, the, we know that the dashboard is ready. And in this case, we're going to use um, a nylon zip tie to push through the, the wire that we left, that it come from the scooter inside into the scooter. As you can see, that's the wire. And push it through so we don't have to actually remove the screws from the, the light in order to get this uh, uh, wire in. You can see we put the tape over here, we tie it up, and then we simply pull it through the other side. We don't have to actually um, remove any, any other screws. So now that we have the wire out, we're gonna proceed. And this step I'm gonna use my regular tool to peel the wires, but you can do it with, um, with a knife, just be gentle because again, with the wires, you don't want to peel them off from any other or other part. Remember, those wires are already have juice on it; they are already connected to the battery. Well, we're gonna get that the screws first out to make the connections. So uh, we're gonna use something pointy or something that uh, I can catch the 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 rubber. That is um actually there are, those are called seals for the screws so that prevent water going into the scooter. That's a bunch of secure uh, seals in there, so we want to make sure that we don't lose them. Those are two only in that part, and for this we're going to use the throw head number 25. When doing this, we want to make sure to hold the parts, hold the handle so it doesn't fall down, and make sure that the seals in this part over here they don't come off so they it's easy to put them back because once they come off it's a uh, it give you a hard time to put them back in the in position and that's for to prevent water to come in we have the four bolts are out so gentle we're gonna remove this part and make sure it doesn't drop we want to make sure that those that part doesn't fall off so we remove as you can see I removed the, the seal from the from the entrance of the I'm going to put the, the wires through there to the same hole it's very small hole so we want to make sure that you know it's just the wires are the actually the thin ones that are going through, so it doesn't mess up the, the seal on the other side. So you can see that's the connections. Now we're gonna push it through here in this uh, in this little hole. So make sure that when you put the um, the you uh, push the wires, don't press too much the the, the player because it could actually um, damage the wires. And that's it. They are ready. Now we need to pull back that wire because that's gonna be a space for the in case in future time we need to split the, the scooter again, there's gonna be space for the for those wires to, to run in between. We suggest that you guys do six feet of wire length, even though you only need five and a half. We're gonna proceed to tie up the, the, the wires together. In case you guys need to cut it or something like that, just remember these wires are already alive. And um, uh, use your, one, if you need to cut, 
don't cut them together like I'm going to do with these ones. The ones I have in my hands, they need to be cut, they're too long, so what we're going to do, I'm going to cut them together, it doesn't matter because there is not, nothing connected to it, but the ones that are coming from the scooter, they need to be cut uh, one at a time. So now please pay attention to how this is going to be done. First of all, we're going to do, uh, we're going to peel the, the red wire first. You can do the other one if you like. And then we're going to put the, the heat shrink on it. So um, we do one wire at a time. So this is to prevent again, so we don't uh, do any damages to, to the wires. Don't peel the black wire. Let's make sure this to do one at a time. Hit shrink. So as we can see, um, I want to turn the, the wires like that against each other, like coming to this one and forward, but then returning it back. So it actually make a knot. And as we can see, I have them right there. Now I'm going to turn them around in each side. So it's like wires going back, but I actually start turning it and making a knot on it. That will definitely not let the wire come out or in any case that they, they I mean it um that wire wants to stay in it's not gonna be peel off at all. So now that we have it right there what we're gonna do is make sure that it's a secure we're gonna do the um we're gonna use the the heat gun in your case possibly it's going to be um a dryer it doesn't matter as long as you guys heat up those um even with a you could do it with a lighter it's not recommended because you could damage the wire it's very thin so we want to make sure that it's um stayed okay. the best way we never do it against uh, the scooter we're going to put uh, the heat gun or whatever you do in the, the, the head dryer to point towards outside not to any in front of any table as well, not in front of the, the dashboard. Especially if you're using heat guns, get very hot and that can even damage the, the connections of anything. Well, now that we did the first one, now that we know that it's uh, that is secure, that will not come out. So what we're going to do is the second one. And we know that there is not going to be any any church or anything because of um, the wire is already, is already sealed. And I apologize, I, mean, I didn't realize that the camera was too low. It's not pointing exactly, but still you can see it. By the way guys, nobody pays for this, it's, um, I do this just to help you guys, So, because I had some experience with some of my clients that they had come and they had burned out their, their dash or even the, the, the controller got burned up by doing this installation. So you want to make sure that this is um, it's done properly. If you do it careful, I mean it's, it's going to be good, you're not going to have any problems. Again, we do the turn, the knot, and the black wire. And now we're gonna just uh, use the heat gun to make sure the heat shrink stays fully sealed. So now we're gonna cut a little bit um, the the seal so because now we have an extra wire, so uh, it will it will not feed with the three wires and the full seal. So. The wires has to be under the seal in the bottom side, not on the top. If you have somebody who can help you doing all this installation, it's better because as somebody holding the, the parts, this is a, it's a big help. Make sure that the seals are there. 
put it in the right position. Don't use a screw gun for this. This has to be done with a, with a screwdriver. So you put the right pressure to it. Again, we're gonna use a tor head number 25 for this um, installation. And we know that the, the screws have, um, I mean, it's first time removing it, so the, the thread locker is still good, so we don't need to add. Third head number 25 is the one for the screws. Thread locker, we don't need it because the screws are still good. They're new. So what we're gonna do is I uh, use actually the, um, the adjustable wrench to give a uh, pressure enough in, in a gentle way, not using any screw gun that is gonna seal them and possibly damage the, the the head of the screw so we're gonna do this in a gentle way and the following step what we're gonna do is a uh, test our meter to see everything is good before actually locking it so we're gonna make sure that it's working we can't set it up until the the, the battery is fully recharged so after that we know that the, the meter is good we can proceed to seal it glue gun some sort of uh, silicone and we are about to finish so um to, to mount the bracket what we need to do is just use the um, crazy glue and mount it on top for this bracket this uh, bracket comes from Chris Isaacson as we can see it has a sign max and this part we're going to uh, connect the dashboard from where we unplugged it before starting putting wires on in this step we want to make sure that um, everything is uh, tied up together and remember to use your thread locker torque 15 for this um for this part of the scooter for these screws secure lock number 15 if you guys remember uh, the key that comes with the scooter is the number 15 also but it's a plain like a allen key and this is the key that i actually tied up all the screws and removed them the one of the the ones that i'm doing right now uh, we're going to proceed to remove the plastic bag from the dashboard just remember do it gentle because um, now it's already connected, so anything that it touches, a metal, simple by touching the, the edges of it, it could damage. So I'm gonna be absolutely sure that there is no touching anything else. Take your screws, put them gentle. Let's make sure, absolutely sure, that there is no seals or anything missing. So these are the seals from, from here, and they just need to be pushed. They will flush as soon as you push them in. And now it is time to attach the dashboard to its position. Just remember to do it very gentle. As you can see, I'm using actually the bit only to install it right here. Again, all this already has power, so we want to make sure that this is, uh, nothing happened to it. Even if the screw doesn't want to go straight, just remove it and put it back in. The seals stay in place because that's what it protects us from water. Put the screws on and well this is almost it just some few more screws just make sure not to press it too much and that's about it well i hope i help in somebody and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more adventures he is in castro new york ride safe and keep on rolling